Hey guys, it's BrainBean here again, and today we're going to be doing a review of the Max Keyboard Falcon 8 Mini Macro Pad Mechanical Keyboard. So let's start by talking about why you would even need one of these macro pads. It's a pretty fair question, especially if you're unfamiliar with the concept of a little micro macro pad like this. I personally find it really useful for things like video editing where I can map hotkeys to this little pad and it makes it a lot easier to just find the shortcuts and just hit the button and you're good to go. You can also use it for gaming if your keyboard doesn't have dedicated macro keys or you find that you need extra macro keys because you can just use the software and map them straight to the buttons and you have extra macro keys right there. Another cool thing you can do with these is use it as sort of a mini controller for rhythm games and other things like that where you can just map all the keys to the little macro pad and you've got a controller that way. The build quality of this little keyboard is absolutely top notch. From the aluminum plate to the Cherry MX or Gateron switches, everything in this keyboard is absolutely top quality. Now the Falcon 8 comes with pretty much the standard set of things you would expect when you order a mechanical keyboard. You get the included detachable USB cable, it comes with a set of O-rings for all of the keys, as well as a set of rubber feet that you can attach to the bottom of the pad if you want to use them. Another thing that I really like is they don't include an instruction manual, but there's a little sticker at the top of the box that directs you to their YouTube channel with a step-by-step -step setup video, which I think is a really nice touch because I think a lot of people are a lot more apt to watch a video that's made by the company rather than just read the instruction manual. And I think it's really nice to see when a company puts in the time and effort to make a well-edited instruction guide versus just a little piece of paper. Now the Falcon 8 comes in one of two ways. You can get it pre-assembled or you can get it in a DIY kit that you can put together yourself. Now it's a pretty good option if you're somebody that wants to get into building their own keyboards and is looking for an easy project. Either way, whichever option you go for, you have the ability to customize every aspect of this little keypad, from the color of the aluminum plate to which style of Cherry MX or Gateron switches you want inside. You also have the option of choosing the color of keycaps as well as the color of LED illumination inside the keyboard. That's one of the reasons that it's probably a little bit higher priced than you would expect for a little 8 button macro pad, but it's definitely worth it to be able to customize it exactly the way that you want it. I got my Falcon 8 with Cherry MX Blues, and as is customary on the channel, here's a quick sound test of the Cherry MX Blues in the Max Keyboard Falcon 8. Overall, I think the Falcon 8 is a really great addition to any PC setup. It does command a bit of a premium price, but when you take into account that you get to customize every aspect of this little keypad, you know that you're definitely getting a quality product that'll be exactly the way that you want it. When I first got my Falcon 8, I really wondered kind of what the practical applications would be. Would I really use it that much or would it just be that much easier to use my regular keyboard? After having it and using it for a while, I have to say that I really can't imagine not having this little macro pad in my setup. It's just way too convenient for people that do multimedia stuff like video editing, photos, music, anything like that. It just really makes your life that much easier. For gaming, it gives you the extra option of having more macro keys that you can position anywhere around the desk to make you that much quicker in game. Well that's it for this video guys, give it a like if you enjoyed it to show your support and be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more videos like this one in the future. If you'd like to support the channel even more you can see my Amazon affiliate link located down in the description below. And as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.